Hey, how are you? Well, it's been about a week and I've got three coats of polyurethane on the cherry tabletop. And I've got our old kitchen table up in the studio and I'm going to remove the base because I'm going to use this base for the new top. I attached the top to the table base with these Babinga clips. I like to do this because it allows the tabletop to expand and contract. The slots in the leg are made with a biscuit joiner. All right, so just a quick look at the base here. This, the legs are white oak, and the cross members are ash. And I built this, it was just the kind of a Frankenstein table. Uh, the top is hickory, and this, you know, this is like maybe 15 years ago, and I just had the wood hanging around the shop. And because the table was ours, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the materials. And there's a lag bolt right here. And this piece comes off. And that's basically the design of the table base. And I'll just put it back together since I'm going to use this base for the new top. Now the old top is made of hickory and this is one of my first videos making Dutchman joints to repair a kitchen table. And I'm going to put this tabletop in storage and maybe one day I'll make a small table for one of the kids. I'm using a square and a little painter's tape to help me position the base right in the center of the table and then I'll attach the base with the Babinga clips. And I'll pre-drill first, being careful not to drill too deep and going through the top. I've got the base on the tabletop, and to be honest with you, I really don't feel like doing this, but I think I should probably add a little bit more bracing because the tabletop extends 13 inches beyond the leg. And that's fine when the table's going with the grain, but when it's going uh, in the direction, that we're, the way the boards were joined, well, there's a good chance that the table could break here if somebody put a lot of weight on it. So I'll make braces that will be kind of like this stick here. I'll just go downstairs into the shop, and I'll have to put some slots in those braces for the screws. I'll need slotted screw holes so the tabletop can still expand and contract. I've cut my two cherry braces and now I'm going to cut slots in the braces. I'm going to use the biscuit joiner for this. Um, I haven't done this before so maybe I'm not going to use the biscuit joiner but I think it's going to work. I'll put a mark at three inches from the end and then 16 and then I'll flip the boards around and do the same thing so that these braces will be held on by four screws. And then I'll square across at the mark. So the idea is to line the biscuit joiner up with the reference line, plow out a slot, and do that all along my reference lines, flip the board over, plow out a second slot, and there the two slots will meet and that way the slot goes completely through the three-quarter inch stock. I've drawn two reference lines on the fence and I'll drop the board down onto the blade and then run it through to create a groove that will countersink the screw. I didn't use a dado blade and you could just as simply do this with a router table. Uh, I use my regular saw blade, so I had to run it through a few passes, and now I've just got to clean up this little tongue that's left behind.
Well that worked out pretty good and now I'm just going to pretty the boards up by cutting a chamfer on the ends and I'll soften up these edges with a small round over bit in the router. Well I finished up the braces and I sprayed them with a few thin coats of lacquer and I've decided that I want to drill two holes close to the center and I'm not going to slot these holes because I think they're close enough that I don't really need to worry about expansion and contraction. I've got the bracing in position and I put down a little painter's tape just in case I move the bracing while I'm attaching it. I can bring it right back to position. And I'm going to use these Craig screws to attach the bracing and the reason for that is they have these built-in washers. If I had a right angle drill I might put just one hole right in the center but I don't so I need to put two on either side simply because I can't get the screw gun into that tight spot. I'm going to need to disassemble the table to get it out of the shop door here and to fit it in the kitchen. So I've taken a minute and labeled all of the parts. Well now the only thing left to do is bring the table in the house and put it back together. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.